so in this lecture we are going to learn about a very interesting question and that is we are going to do merge operation okay so what is merge so we are given given two sorted list we have to merge them okay and aim aim should be what something good isn't it so aim would be make the algorithm o of n where n is the total number of elements in the two arrays so it should be linear algorithm so this is our aim and let's see how we do so taking one example we have let's say 172136 and here 2915 and 42 so these are two arrays and we have to merge them so this is the input 1 input 2 and our output should be what what should be our output it should be 1 2 so let's a uh, little bit be more creative so it will be 1 then 7 21 and 36 and the other elements should be inserted here like should now become 1 then 2 should come here from that list now 9 should come 21 so after that 15 will also come here 21 36 and then 42 will come here so it will be 1 2 7 9 15 21 36 so how will you proceed first is base case means just i want to solve the problem first i cannot ask for luxury when i don't have the basics available okay so how will you solve this thing forget this one in programming interview when you are asked so first thing is you have to solve it and then only you can say that okay now i can optimize it i can improve upon it so first thing is how to solve so what can you do so what i can do is let's say i will think aloud so i will start with this array and what i will do is i will search somewhere here and see if i found so very easily we see that okay one is here and let's make there should be an auxiliary array where i should store so i will see that okay this is one and when i'm making this two lists so what i will do i will start from the first element of both of them and i will compare let's say okay which one is smaller so i find that okay one is smaller so what i will do i will put it here in the first element of array b so i put one so next what should i do i have already i'm done with this i come to this place So I say okay, seven and two now. So seven and two, which is bigger? So seven is bigger. I will ignore because I have to sort it out. These two arrays, and I will put two here. I am done with this one also. So I am now here, and I am now here. So I compare these two elements, and which one should come here? Whichever is smaller, because I am sorting. So seven comes here. My pointer goes to this one. Now I will compare twenty one and nine. Oh my God! So which one should I choose now? So the smaller one. So I choose nine and it comes here. I increment my pointer. I have now to consider which among these two elements should I put. So fifteen is the right candidate because it is smaller than twenty one. I put fifteen and I am done with this one. I'm at 21 and here I'm at 42. So 
21 is less than 42 it will come here so 21 comes here and my pointer goes here so 36 and 42 36 is smaller so 42 goes here so this is the strategy and again so for my good luck it was that I tried it in the first time itself we could do it in O of a linear algorithm okay where n is equal to n plus m where n is the first length of the first array m is the length of the second array so but what are few things that are left one is when I am saying that n and m are different so let's say what happens is that okay so here if I can have various cases okay so let's see one of them can be 1 2 5 8 and here I am starting itself from 200 210 300 and 500 so if I compare I am here I am here initially and I do my algorithm so what happens I will put 1 here again 1 incremented 2 is less than 200 2 will come here then I come here 5 is less than 200 I come to this place 8 is also put here so what happens now so I am left here and my algorithm while loop has already ended so now I have to copy all this part here so I will do now 200 210 300 and 500 so this is basically we have to see that okay when we are comparing by incrementing the corresponding elements so I should be making sure that okay if one array ends then I should be copying the other ones okay so let's see the algorithm so I have this algorithm merge so I pass argument as the array the lower bound so this a is itself so it is a like this I have an array it is divided into two parts so this is the low index this is the mid index and this is the high index and when I start it will be what zero mid and n and mid is what low plus i by 2 okay so we come here so h now what I do so as I said so we will start from left we will start from the left of the second part which is from mid plus 1 first part is from low to mid and next part is from mid plus 1 to high so what I say that okay I have two indexes h and j so h is equal to low to the left of the first array and j is to the left of the second array and what I say while h is less than equal to mid so while I'm traversing here and while I'm traversing j is less than equal to high so if any one of till none of them has ended I will do what if h is less than so if this is less than this then which one should I put I should put h so what I do bi is equal to h and I do h plus plus so now I h comes here but else what happens if h is greater than aj so what will happen then I should put b of i in is equal to aj I should put the element that was here and then increment j so this is what will happen and there will be a brace here and in all the cases of course bi because it is an auxiliary array so its index should be increasing so this will continue till h or j one of the array reaches its end and then what happens if let's say h is, uh, is the left array index reach the end then what i will do from for k is equal to j where j was there from j to high i will copy bi a k s into the b or otherwise what if it was the right part which ended first so i will from the left part i will just copy it into b so now this constructs my sort merging and finally i will copy from low to high i will copy all the b's into a's so let's dry run this code 
and we already did it here and saw that it was working so this is about merging two arrays and i hope you understand and like this so and its order is o of n plus m and that's it thanks a lot